Hey, hey, thank you for watching my channel. I am the Divine Maverick, also known as the mother of twins, helping you along your twin flame journey. If this is your first time watching the channel, welcome. Fasten your seatbelt because it's gonna be an awesome, awesome ride. Thank you for being here. Um, I gotta tell you that I may bust out into a song. I may start talking to my dogs or they might start barking along with me as I'm giving you this message. So all of it's gonna be a part of the reading. I'm gonna incorporate it all because I don't believe in coincidences, all right? Uh, this is a general reading, so all the messages may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, just leave the energy for somebody else and they'll come right along and pick it up and be like, yes, that's my energy. Hey, tribe. Thank you so much for all of your likes. Thank you for all of your subscribes. Thank you for all of your shares. Thank you so much for all of your comments. Y'all give life, 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 and more life in the, 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 in the comment section. I almost said description box. Mercury retrograde in the <laughs> in the comment section. Thank you for encouraging one another. Thank you for supporting me on this channel and supporting us all in this journey. Also, if you'd like this uh, reading and you like the way I read these cards and the way messages flow through me from spirit, then you can book a personal reading with me. I do those. They're called love and light sessions. I would love to have some one-on-one -on -one time with you to give you a more specific message if you're interested in that. You can book me through Calendly, book your schedule, um, book your appointment time, I mean. Mercury retrograde! Book your appointment time. Everything you need to know about that is found in the description box below. This is a reading for my divine um, counterparts, probably mostly divine feminines that are watching this. Ooh, I'll take that. Put that right there. Um, divine counterparts because uh, mostly divine feminines are watching this, I know. Make sure that deck is uh, right side up. But um, it's a going to find out what your person is um, teaching you about. What your person is teaching you about love. What are they What are they healing you from? What are you learning in this situation, in this connection, right? Okay, so just think about the person that you're thinking about, you know, that's in your mind, what you want to know about. But passion, this is my sacred geometry deck. I love this because it's all about being on the right frequency. And this is what spirit is doing in this relationship with you and the person that you're thinking about. It says, the frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within us, um, within the intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core where we can let its long lasting wisdom fill us up. So when you think about passion, it's a surrendering to our passions. The whole point that spirit is making with this, with this frequency is about controlling. It's not squashing or squelching it. It's about learning how to find its balance because everybody loves that feeling of something that's so powerful because that's what passion is. It's something that's so powerful. It literally feels like you're going to, it's going to overtake you and you have to learn how to surrender to it. But in the surrendering, you learn how to balance it. In other words, you get to the core of it. Why am I feeling this way? So for some of you, you are passionate about your art. You are passionate about money. You, Of course, you're passionate about your person. Some of you are, you're passionate about your career and um, I'm seeing bakers. I'm seeing culinary arts. I'm seeing, I don't know why I'm seeing so much food, but for some of you, food is a passion. You know what I mean? And, and love making love, love sharing, just, you know, being in love is one of your passions. Like, like I said, I feel money very strongly too. Like money makes you happy. It's like, it's almost like a, it's addictive. Let me read a couple of things out of the book, just um, as nuggets while I hold this card and you just kind of focus in on that frequency and look at the colors. All right, so we long for an emotion that is so strong that all we can do is surrender to its power. At the same time, we fear this kind of emotion because we are afraid of losing ourselves, our sense of who we are in the eye of passion's storm within us. But there is clarity and insight to be found in the storm once we have withstood the heat of the fire and have held our balance in the midst of the blazing inferno. Only then can we move to the center and find insight at passion's core. Okay, so this passion cannot be hidden. It must, it demands expression. So for some of you with this card, I pulled out three cards. The first is the overall energy of this with the person that you're thinking about. This is kind of the situation that you're going through. You're learning and you're feeling very, um, the love unconditionally. This is what you're learning. There's a lot of affection. You're falling in love, some of you, because you know, Falling in love is quite passionate. It, it literally feels like you are consumed. You can't eat, you can't drink, you can't think. You you know, it's all you it's all an all-consuming fire. Sacral chakra here, um, root chakra here, right? Heart chakra here on the fleet. Then you also have the um the pineal gland, the third eye, you know, awakening and opening because this love has made you, you know, go deep within. Like, why am I feeling like this? I've never felt like this before. So it calls you to even go deeper with your spiritual journey. But kisses, some of you um you, you get weak when you get kissed. You know, like the kissing is you're, you're done. Just like psh, 
And with the temptation card out here with the four of swords, I'm jumping all over the place, but I'm somewhere. The temptation card is what spirit is healing in you, healing you of this temptation. Because like I said, when somebody kisses you, one kiss, and you're like, you forget yourself. You lose it, right? You just lose control, right? Because that's like the gateway to your passions becoming almost uncontrollable. And, it, and you just, you surrender to it. And then you find yourself in all kinds of compromising positions because the temptation becomes too strong. For some of you, there's a physical distance between you and your person. So you feel a bit of a disconnect. You know, you, you definitely have the love, but you feel like you don't have a way to express it. So what you do is like in the mean, what I call in the meantime, you know, there's little relationships don't mean anything. They're kind of fleeting. You see how the man's kind of a shadow or a ghost. You know what I mean? Some of y'all have returned to your past love. Somebody that, you know, floated your boat. Maybe they were a good kisser. I'm hearing usher a good kisser now i'm not gonna sing the song but um you get me but anyway um some of you um you know might have gone back like i said to a past love and some of you you know just you don't want anything serious because you're really un unconditionally loving your person that you're thinking of but you just kind of entertain some you know fleeting romances right like i said temptations overtake you because you know like that kiss and get you maybe you miss kissing your person. So, you know, like I said, in the meantime, but this is all about spirit is saying you have to balance that. It's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with being passionate and, and being amorous because of what I, the people I'm channeling right now, this, this, the energy I'm feeling is a very, it's a very sexual, a very sacral chakra, intimacy, creativity. Um, like I said, passionate about your work, passionate about your love. It kind of goes hand in hand. What, what you do, you, you do it hard. You do it. It's hot. It's fast. You know, I'm feeling a very fast moving, um, um, fast moving uh, fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. But um, in your relationship with your person, you find because, you know, you can't have these, um, you can't have it the way you want it, right? You find yourself criticizing one another. So you criticizing one another will only lead to further happiness. Love and accept each other as you are in your relationship will magically transform. So you might feel like your person could kiss you better, be there more, call you more, whatever. You feel like they should do more. And so you're tempted you know, by, by other things. You're tempted to maybe throw yourself into your work for now. You're tempted to maybe, um, like I said, revisit the past or entertain other suitors, other lovers. But you're, like I said, four swords could be dealing with a Libra here, but this is air, you know, air sign, air energy. But the four swords is about taking a break um, or a healing, right? But that's what spirit is saying. I'm going to heal you of these temptations. What is this I'm seeing in this card? Yeah, that's like, I see a little dragon's face. You see, I'm seeing a little dragon's face. It's almost like that dragon blew out the candles. You know what I mean? Because some, you know, like, and these are, check this out. The two flames, right? That, that they're gone out like that to me that's like twin flames but the flame blew out because some of you had trouble with the temptation and you know and it what opened the door to the criticism you were saying what they weren't doing what they didn't do and this is why you you know you're very very keen on what you were feeling and doing right you were like I, I you had every reason right because of that passion they weren't meeting you where you are Right? They weren't giving you the same passion back that you were giving out to them. And all you wanted was that unconditional love. You wanted that giving and receiving. And so when you didn't find that you had that, you just, you know, told them how they missed the mark with that criticism. And then you, you know, <laughs> found something else, found someone else. But you're healing, healing from that now. Give me someone on uh, kisses. Right, like I said, Page of Pentacles here, um, Earth energy out here with the Capricorn. I mean, Pat Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, actually all three with the Page of Pentacles. Like I said, that's how it began. For some of you, the temptation began with some a kiss, maybe even with the person you're thinking about. That's how you got to this place. It's like something, they, it, it was in their kiss, right? <laughs> and for, for some of you in their kiss, it, it kind of has some healing energy and you just, ooh, it, it sparked a flame. It sparked a passion inside of you that you just couldn't let go of. And here you are, you know, some of you, you know, three years later, four years later, three months or four months later, um, seven, you know, seven, seven is big. Do I have seven out here twice? No, I have four. Yeah, four, two, four. So definitely something um, dealing with the number four stability, you know, um, strong foundations you know that was the foundation of this but you found that you know because you couldn't have it your way passion right you're trying to balance that energy you're passionate at the same time like i said it doesn't feel like it's reciprocal and that's all you wanted is reciprocity and that's why the door to temptation was always open because the person you were most passionate about wasn't giving you back the same energy you were giving them so you're like keep that same energy right while you go do something else but the criticism like really entered in. Let's, let's do that. 
Queen of Swords, right, there you go. Queen of Swords is clarifying the criticism card. Again, air energy, Gemini, um, Cancer energy with the Queen of Swords. But um, the, with the Queen of Swords, this is somebody like, you know, <laughs> sharp. This is a sharp, do see that sword? That's a sharp sword, right? And this is what you're learning from them, that that happiness does not happen if you're being uh, short, critical. This could be you or your person, but somebody was very um, negative. Somebody was very always finding fault or finding a reason why, you know, and somebody might have even cut you off and, and taken a break from you because they said, you know, you, you can't control yourself. You know, you, every, you know, they... You, it might even been something about a trust, the trust factor, the trust issue. You know, I'm seeing somebody just feeling like they you you can't be trusted, so they cut you off. They set so they set some boundaries, you know. And let's see, yeah, communication. I'm feeling something around communication. When you do, when you do, or when you did communicate, it was all about, like I said, criticism. Queen of Swords. Critical, critical in nature. And this is not a Queen of Swords in reverse, but I am definitely feeling off this Queen of Swords. Somebody, the way they spoke was just very off-putting to, to their person. Let's um, put one more on the Queen of Swords. Right. Three of Wands in reverse, right? They just felt like they couldn't expand. They couldn't, you know, it, it, it never could take off, right? Because the, the criticism was just too much. And so that's what you're dealing with. This is what you're learning, that if you want to keep on criticizing and, and saying what everything that's wrong and you don't accept your person, then, you know, three of three of Wands in reverse. Like I said, Capricorn energy out here. Um, not Capricorn, I'm sorry. Uh, Aries energy out here. It, it would not, it's not going to go anywhere. And you found that you're at a standstill, which opened the door to, like I said, the temptation. So healing from that, four of swords, put one more on that. Um, right, definitely, definitely healing from that. And um, for some of you, King of Pentacles, some of you, it was, a, it was a financial thing. You know, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy again. Um, but you, you were very, your passion was all about the money. And so you were tempted to... To do whatever it took because the king of pentacles out here is somebody that's very financially stable somebody that's very money focused money driven their their heart is with their their coin right it's all about the coin so that's what spirit is saying it's nothing wrong with getting money it's nothing wrong with making money it's nothing wrong with passionately pursuing money and you know because you feel like that gives you that number four because i said we have two fours out here that stability but it is something wrong when it tempts you to do things that maybe um is against your uh like that that's that that lacks integrity because I feel like somebody does things you know that may be uh, illegal just to secure the money they're tempted you know what I mean to do what they shouldn't be doing and maybe that's another reason why you criticize your person because you know you didn't think you were criticizing queen of swords you didn't think so you know but you were like you know that's why that's why your life's not moving or going forward because you're doing that crazy stuff you know you follow that money it's all about the money right you know what I mean for some of you not all of you but you know they're very tempted by by the coin because they want their stability they want they feel better when they have their money that is really their their passion so you know they they weren't able to start something new right with you um like i said and this is a job this could be a job of learning something a new skill but you know like i said they're very passionate about their money and so it was hard for them to give and receive with you because like i said their eye look at that page their eye was on their money right okay so but again in this relationship you're going to learn how to balance that passion and you're going to lose the temptations. All the temptations are going to um, find their balance because, again, there's nothing wrong with being passionate. Passion is what is like it's like gasoline in a car. Passion is what drives you. Passion is what um, powers you. OK, it's a good thing. Everything in moderation. And definitely, like I said, you're being healed of the, the criticism. This is what you're learning, how not to be critical of one another, because that this relationship definitely needs to transform, but it is transformed when you are unconditionally loving each other. Okay. Um, let me give you a romance angel. Actually, I will give you a advice from the moon, my moon deck. Sorry guys. I should have had this out. That's what you're learning. Your person is teaching you. Stop with the criticism, critical nature. <laughs> There's that Capricorn. I told you a lot of, lot of um, we have the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, New Moon and Capricorn. It says your hard work is paying off. Like I said, nothing wrong with it. That Listen, nothing wrong with passionately pursuing. 
anything. Passion is part of uh, of this journey, you know, but you just got to balance it. You can't be too far on the left, too far on the right. Find yourself right in the middle. Your hard work is paying off definitely in this relationship and in clearly your work. So for some of you, you're waiting for that person because they are, you know, getting in their King of Pentacles energy, um, just really trying to trying to solidify who they are in this in this world, right? Solidify who they're, they're like they're put, putting their footprint, you know, in the world. So you're just kind of waiting for that, and just know that the hard work is definitely going to be paying off. Um, their passions not are not going to go to waste, but you know, try not to criticize them for that. That's just the way they are. That's who they are. Give me a romance angel, and then we're out. Thank you for watching. Got it. Mmm. Addictions are affecting your life. What they're addicted to? <laughs> money, 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 money. Money. <laughs> okay, but they're going to be healed of that temptation. And they're going to be healed. Mmm. Of the codependency. Okay, and you're doing that. By some of you are getting a little distance. Some of you are queen of swords and queen of swords and that thing. I'm cutting you off. You know what I mean? All right. You might be flirting a little bit. You decided you look elsewhere for a second. Like I said, anything you're doing is fleeting. It's not lasting, but it's definitely fleeting. But you're going to learn to control your passions too, person watching. Because the codependency also in this relationship has to end. That's why that criticism has like a foundation. That, you know, the addictions, addicted to money, addicted to sex. Like I said, there are sexual addictions here. There's addictions to money. Uh, just material things, right? And that codependency is, is, is being dealt with right now. This is what you're learning, how to deal with the codependency. Because this criticism for them being um, not being who you want them to be is only... Watch, blocking three of wands, keeping you from having your ships come in, which is the divine love that you know that that this relationship could um, birth for you and, and be, you know, be for you. All right. I'll leave it right there. I'm going to stop right there. Okay. If it's resonated, go ahead and like the video. Um, comment, if you will. I'd love to hear your, your side and your input. Um, thank you. Keep it respectful, though. Remember, everybody's not where you are. Okay. Um, let me see. Thank you so much for watching. Until we meet again, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.